Hey everyone, so I have a very special video for you guys today. Today we're doing a walk through the Inward Scooters warehouse. And we have my boy Rick. His dad actually owns Inward Scooters. He, he also rides scooters. And so we're gonna give you a little walk through. There's a lot of OG stuff here. So a lot of you guys have been riding for a long time are gonna be hyped because this is something I'm very excited about and wanna show you guys all this cool stuff they have here. So let's get going. First off, we got, we got Rick's scooter. Here we got some. That's, a, forks, that's right? an inward dagger fork with an inward peg, a Phoenix for venting, and some prototype inward bars that never really made it to market. Those are tight. Uh, we stopped making our own parts because it's just too expensive down here. Over to you. Moving on. <laughs> we got some Apex stuff, some other stuff. Over here. Will, you're going to be hyped. Enough. <laughs> Over here, we got a Cane Creek headset. I don't know if you guys oh ever, you know the history I'm of headsets at all. Cane Creek. Cane Creeks, threadless and threaded. We got an old Cody Don, Cody Donovan wheel. Oof. Oh, we have a whole box. A Fernando Young oh, wheel. Oh, let's just pull this out. Let's just pull this out. Some wheel. Oh, no. I have <laughs> Greg wheel. Ooh. It's got some prototype inward wheels. Aren't these tight? And then loads of React wheels. We some got Eagle wheels, some District wheels, some Razor wheels. What is MGP clamp? <laughs> we got old District forks, Phoenix forks. This right here is the Dagger V1. Uh, these were just a little bit too thin, so they were breaking or bending. What is this? And this is the original inward fatty fork. This is too fatty. That was just his fork. Literally one of the Justice first. music. His tr that was his fork. Yeah, was one it? Of, this is one of the first scooter forks that my dad made to start off inward scooters. So, what is this? That this okay. What this is this is a a solution to SCS that my dad found. These are uh, it's a C clamp or whatever on. Yeah. And then you put the bars on that. So he put this on the fork, the and there's a the hole seat. in there. So you can put that in your star nut, and then you put your bars over it like it's still a fork. Oh. Oh. We have pictures, it just kind of looked kind of dumb with this like little curve in there. But, That's so sick, though. Yeah, it, like it just goes on top of your fork like this, and then your bars go on top of there. That's so sick. Dude, yeah. that is awesome. We got some uh, bikes. Oh, yeah. Bikes and whatnot. This is a, this is a Solex, an old, old moped scooter. And it's about to get crazy, everyone. All the stuff you're about to see, hype. I personally cannot remember what company what this is. What is that? My dad would know, but I think it might be TSI, but I'm not. No, it's not a TSI. Don't, don't, don't put that in there. It's, it's a company out of the Northwest that, what's his name? Nate Grant. If you guys remember Nate Grant, he started a company. I don't remember the name of it, but I'm pretty sure that's a deck from that company, or he was sponsored by them. I'm not sure if he started mm -hmm. or sponsored. We got the micro. Micro with some custom grip tape. Look at this. Just give you a quick run through of. It's a three piece. Look at the, look at the break It's a three tape. piece deck. So it's like proto, but way gnarlier. Yeah. We got got the bolts. We got this. Got the got the the neck <laughs> bolted on with the head tube. Yeah, I know. We got an older model attic deck that I used to ride as well. Is that V1? I think it's a that V1. So oh wow. Sure. The... Razor Ultra Pro. Basin. I have to bring this mess egg. Yeah. Got MGP Ultra Pro, another V1 attic deck. Ooh, not even used. Not even used. That, that is great. rare. And it does have the axles. What the fuck? Does it? Yeah, I wanted to ride. I wanted to start riding my uh, my attic again, dude, but it's three it's extra a little bit longer. attic brakes. Yeah, dude, you will shred through these brakes because they're just plastic. But they're, they melt. These are the, one of the best brakes of all time. And there's three extra. Now this right here, as you can tell, I was I was obsessed with uh, striped grip tape. Uh, this is a Phoenix Reventon V1. That was made for Dakota shoots. Cool. Phoenix made a second one and they gave it to me and I was able to ride it. It's got a shorter shorter length from the stock one and the head tube was a little bit more towards the nuts. That's fine. Oh, Dude, you know it's hilarious. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. A oh. oh my a lord. A model. I'm a great filmer. Dude, look at the look at Dude, the Dude, nobody has even seen me on oh, the what? Home. I'm gonna I'm gonna say yeah. hi everybody. Zoom in on that shit. What's up guys? Spencer Hawk Fusion. Oh my god. Oh my Tony, god. Tony Hawk's kid had a signature fusion. Dude, Rick, I remember. Did he really? Yeah. yeah. Has this. Wait, how does this fold? You just pull this? Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's so easy. Say what? Oh. Boom! Dude, this is Boom shakalaka. It's oh, so yeah. solid. That is a so lot. dialed. Oh yeah, I think it. No, I'm over. No, yeah. It's, I'm best, over. it's best folded up anyways. We got an old grit. Oh my god, dude. What is that? I remember thing? when that's coming out. Grit scooter. Grit. This is another micro with big ass wheels. Oh my yeah. god. This thing was fun. Dude, Rick, where did, did, you, like, did you get this I out of competition? 
This no, the other micro. This is a Razer P model. This is before the Pro model. Got suspension before the Pro model. Oh. This is the exact scooter that I got for my first ever scooter for my dad to start making scooters at Inward Scooters. We had um, these these springs popped out, so my dad put square tubing in here to reinforce it, and then. My bar snapped because I threw my scooter around. I was like 12 years old. I don't even know, 11 years old. And he put mountain bike bars on it and fixed it. And the, dude, those those were the worst. It smacked into my knee every single time. <laughs> but still, it started. Oh, it started inward, dude. Oh. Then we got hella bars. We got old uh, supplies to make our forks. Uh, so they have like little pieces of metal. Pieces of those. These. These are the stopping plates to the front of a Razor Pro model in the folding mechanism. Look how many fucking Look how many there are in here. Are you just going to recycle them? And we got a bunch of bars right here. This is the wall of bars. A lot of Apex. Every, every bar that you order from Inward Scooters is going to have it's going to come off of this wall. We've got some new Affinity bars too. Yeah. Actually, I haven't even seen these yet. We have the Titanium, uh, what are they, bars? No, I wish I could get some of those bars. Because it's all really. oh, here's some <laughs> Some more. Oh, hey, man, right there. We, we, we got some inward bars and some, oh, some district like bars oh. that are off. Dude, there's spider webs all It's been inside. a while. <laughs> Three different designs of inward history. Oh my gosh. Dude, this looks exact. Okay, so these look like tuck bar or tuck no bars. Yeah. And these look like, oh wait, those are actually. And then these look like the elite bars. No, dude, these are still inward bars. Are they? Yeah, they literally look code. like um, freaking elite code. bars. Oh, yeah. And then Check we got these. The, that's the proto. What is that Good. proto? What was the name of the fork? Proto. I, don't know. I think these are the sickest looking wheels. I don't Dude, I love these. Are cool. Well, yeah, it's, yeah, a, it's the V2 to the, the SR fork. But I don't remember. Josh, what was the name of this fork? Uh, was it like yeah, a V2 or something? Is it the V2 the or V3? We got some old Phoenix wheels. Here's an old Pro model complete from back in the day. Um, we made our own compression system right here. There's a rod that goes from the bottom of the fork that a nut attaches to, there's threads on the rod, a nut goes on there, you tighten that nut, and this bolt goes through the rod, there's a little hook in it, and it just pulls it down. Are these Benji bars? I don't know. Yes. Remember when... Oh, dude, that reminds me. District AL1? These are my older bars. Those are yours? These are mine. Oh, this is like before they like... Oh, they were steel, huh? Well, it broke right here at the... Oh. Yeah, it's not a head tube. I used oh, to yeah. have I used to have this head tube with a, a sparkly purple deck. I really? remember oh, that. that you're, so you're hyped on it. That it was so sick. good. I was gonna see all my old setups. We have the man, the myth, the legend. Yep. JP. The owner, the owner himself, JP. Hey, <laughs> he's actually fixing my scooter for me. So shout out to him because while I'm filming this, he is working hard oh, and man. making my scooter top of the line oh. for the ISA comp. for the ISA comp. Coming up on Saturday. Oh, by the way, I'm in I'm in Dallas, Texas. For everyone that didn't know, because this is where the facility is in Dallas, Texas. This is not in San Diego. Yeah. Welcome to my crib, MTV. <laughs> We're gonna rock in here. Thank you, sir. Bro, bro. Thank you, sir. Are, are these are lucky. Yeah, to see the strength yeah. of them. Look how like look how build. different they were made. These were made to grip on the inside, and these were just kind of put over. Like oh, you can yeah. see all the differences. Yeah, you can see oh, that's all so the wheel sick. designs. I never even so you can that. see that river. Wait, show them though. Is the same as Proto. Then Lucky's so those are the is lucky just charms. straight across. That's a honeycomb wheel. Sorry. Honeycomb oh, wheel. You, you can tell the that it's, it's kind of just honeycomb. like this. It's not grooved out or anything like that. But then this is a tilt wheel, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this is tilt, and you can tell that they only have that little. Bit. It, it it allows a lot of movement down there, technically, in a sense. Yeah, and it helps so, it like not dehub as well. Yeah. Well, kind of. Like a no, flat one, a flat one is just as strong in a sense because it's all about the the urethane mating to the metal rather yeah, than it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, this else. chair though. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. dang. Some razor, razor armrest. This is what I'm talking Whoa. about. <laughs> this is living lavishly. Dude. Dude. Don't worry, you guys are clean now. It's okay. Yep. You're not. You're not dirty anymore. Don't worry. Broadway grips. Oh, oh. dude, I, that's what I rock. Really? Yeah. Oh, the hell, the hell grip. We got hell grip tilt. Uh, ODI. What else we got? Some More there. tilt. We got. It looks kind of new, dude. I've never seen it before either. It looks I've never seen it. Oh, yeah, look. We, it looks so there's, there's gray. gray. There's like a teal blue that looks tight. I think this is the sickest looking kind. That looks sick. That's by far my, my favorite out of all of them. Uh, all, all the new Envy Grip, Hella Grip, Concrete. Um, new. I forgot. Friendly. More Envy. And then we got like some. 
Scraps yeah, we got a bunch of some bunch of, bunch of scraps. You can play checkers. You can eat some pizza. You can love on an animal. This is all custom grip tape set up. Well, oh, really? Just this, yeah. We got all sorts of stencils for your grip tape. If you need it for whatever deck you're buying, we have a stencil for them. That's a, that's so sick. Whatever deck you're buying, there's a stencil, and they'll cut it on. Wow. This. Every package, every part, whatever, will be wrapped around. In Prey this. is lucky. Package stuff. Dude, there's so many. Like, can I steal some stickers? JP's yeah. attention to detail is crazy. Stocked up. Oh, you know, chopstick panda bears. Rick, these that's wheels that's are sick. Those are and these are fun. these are root wheels actually. If you guys didn't know, these are not eagle. They are root, and they're prime. They look so sick. This affinity double clamp. Well, oh, I haven't oh. even seen this yet. These are all clamps actually. I, I I haven't even seen these yet. Thun ra thun raveling. This That's looks clean. good. Wait, this wait. looks really good. This was before my time of riding, and I no, know. Was it? Yeah. Was it? Yeah, I don't remember this. I've only been riding for like five years. Dang, I remember him, Greg. I'm Greg. Dude, I'm so Will's been texting me and telling me, and telling me to get him those wheels. I'm. They're not. Uh, my, it's my, not happening. There's nope, two not gonna more. Happen. There's not gonna, gonna happen. There's only they. They have two, and the I'm rest sorry, of them Will. Are probably destroyed. You, yeah, like, they, they won't. They won't let me take anything. Dude, Trust me, I want to get some stuff too. But ever, I want to frame can't. one of them. That's true. Well, oh, scooter museum? Yeah, scooter. Oh, that'd be so sick. Would you guys pay to do that? Comment down below. Just the work area is kind of cool to look at. Yeah. Honestly. Follow me again. Look at that. Oh, yeah. This is like well made. It looks like because like, whenever I got my bars from Youth Gone Wild, they did kind of the same concept because we were trying it out. Um, the owner of YGW. So what we did, and it has been working lately, so if all you guys are wondering how I'm not breaking my tie bars anymore, because I've gone through tie bars, I will admit, um, instead of putting it on the back, so that way whenever you pull your bars back, it's not flexing and cracking the bars, we put it on the side, so that way you, like, going forward and back isn't going to bend or, like, snap your bars as easy at the slit. So if you guys are running HIC and have tie bars, Put it on the side. Don't put it on the back or the front. Make sure you put it on the side. I I, I would prefer the right or left, like either way. But I mine's on the left, so try that out, and it should help your bars last long. Shout out to Josh for filming. That is Colton's brother. You guys haven't met Colton yet, but no, he'll be you around. will. You also shout out to Inward for the brand new fork. Shout out to them. Um, I think this is the end of the tour, and. I want to thank Rick for showing us around and whatnot, making this video prime. I know a lot of you guys are going to be hyped to see this video. A lot of you guys will be new to this because you don't know the like what shop this is or anything like that. Right. Okay, we're good. But, <laughs> but all right, guys. Well, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow. Peace.